to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power, the apakatos kadibata, the greatness of thy power, not your explanation, not your stories, the greatness of your power. Man of God, the gates of ministry will not open just because you are sincere. You need power. There are gates that will not let you rise. There are gates that will not let sinners come to be saved. listen he said i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us just help us under the anointing listen to me brothers and sisters hear me please look up i have been oppressed by demon spirits this man talking to you i'm not just telling you what i read in a book i know the kind of background i came from nothing rises to a global scale no i started ministry as a man of god and i was still being oppressed by demon spirits most people would not be honest to admit this and tell you i was not an evil person Yet these spirits will come and oppress me. I will shout in the name of Jesus like I was taught. And they didn't go. And because of the prophetic, I will see them. It's not like they are just pressing me. I'm seeing this spirit. And I'm saying the Bible says, I give you power. Where is it now? Listen. Someone has to get angry in this place this night. And say enough is enough. I'm not going to let things continue to be powerless christianity resortless christianity i keep giving all kinds of trust explanation no sir hear me hear me your bible is full of the story of men who knew how to receive power and knew how to operate it there was a man who lived like a god called elisha one time naaman the bible says the captain of the syrian army a valiant man in war but he was leprous and a little slave girl who served his wife she said oh there is a man that i can recommend for you if you have the humility of meeting that man listen to me they now wrote a letter to the king and the king said you see this trouble these people are just looking for an occasion for war when elijah had it he said where is the man send him and let him know there is a prophet in israel ah. i was told one time there was a time that they brought someone with a twisted face to archbishop idahosa of blessed memory do you know what he did he told the man look up and the man looked up he said god this man was created in your image if this is how you look leave him like that we need to repent as a generation this bragging we brag about power we've not seen anything those we call miracle workers in our generation were ushers in the bible in fact they were in the welfare department you see the requirement to be a worker in welfare in the bible you you needed to have revelation equal to a man of god to serve tables listen to me 
I know that power has been abused. I know that there are people who have merchandised it. But can I tell you, Abel Kuta, please hear me. If it is the move of God you want to see, if it is revival you want to see, if it's bringing this territory under the influence of the Christ, let me tell you this our explanations and stories the world will soon become tired of us they are already becoming tired of us that's why our children now are not interested in the things of god they prefer technology they will be in church and they are browsing you call jesus is as if you call satan for them we need power we need power a Christianity with results, a Christianity with genuine proofs that in one day you can bring glory to Jesus. In one day you can bring glory to Jesus. Listen to me. Hear me. Please, I want you to be patient tonight. I don't intend to keep us here for long but I want you to be patient because that sound from heaven will echo in this place again one more time one more time I can't guarantee that everybody will catch that fire but I know there must be someone here tonight someone tired of explanations without results Please look at me can i tell you this if we reject the ministry of the holy spirit and we reject the power that he's brought to us i was watching a video of one of the last standing old yoruba fathers who was part of the move of a particular denomination he was talking in yoruba and tears were coming out of my eyes I said, God, what happened to us? What, where did we miss it? How did we backslide? Is it beyond recovery? My goodness. I was reading about a dear people that I know very much, Charles and Francis Hunter. Sir, in one meeting, they raised 100 people from the wheelchair. 100! If one person stands up from the wheelchair now, I can brag and make noise as if I brought heaven down and took it back up. This 100 in a service. One hundred. Some of the fathers that God raised even from your region, these were men that were like herbalists. As soon as you enter their house, before you sit down, you are already shaking. The kind of power that came upon them, they can speak to you in Yoruba and open your heavens. They were not revealing what will happen. They were making it happen. Can I tell you the truth? With all due respect and honor to our fathers, remember that our fathers were their students. So to tell you the kind of students they trained, There were things that were written in this Bible, they were not parables. They were not parables. Man of God, do you know what will happen to your church in all honesty when you truly receive power? That you declare over your members and in one night, a family with nine barren women that their wombs have refused to open because of witchcraft opens like a door. Where will you hide that testimony? That a popular madman on your street, like the madman in Gadara, now becomes healed and on Sunday he's dressed in suit, not stage managed miracles.
that one day someone passes a mortuary on his way to go and pray and suddenly starts hearing a shout from inside the mortuary i'm not dead oh open that door and the newspaper comes to capture it oh god where are you coming from he says from heaven somebody on earth refused to allow me go they held me and brought me back except we don't believe in this bible i came tonight with a cry to tell you there is more oh dear prayer warrior there is more it's good to pray but let your prayer produce results dear preacher there is more i don't mean to insult or challenge or you know negatively communicate anything but are you aware of the way we beg members why didn't you come to church i am not in the mood okay am i doing something wrong can you where, where did you find that in the bible i'm not saying to not treat people well don't get me wrong in the days of the generals a service will be starting 6 p.m in the morning by two o'clock or 12 there are already people queuing because they knew that if you saw those men it was like you saw god but let me tell you this before we begin to, we begin to pray almost every one of these men they died with a prophecy that there is coming a move of the spirit they died with a prophecy they said everything we saw can i tell you i've had the privilege to meet a few people who met these generals and my question to them is please tell me what did they tell you and almost every one of them will tell you that they left with a prophecy that that hand of god is coming again there are worshipers that are going to arise in power there are men of god that you, we have not seen the apostolic and the prophetic you wait and see the breed of of those god is working on abel kuta hear me do not elude yourself from this move in the next two minutes i like you to forget about who is at your left or right i like you to cry before god and say power from heaven fall upon my destiny power from heaven upon my destiny
are the mantles of men like Pa Elton? Where are the mantles of men like Apostle Babalola? Where are the mantles? to receive something that will change your life forever this is the place of encounter what you want ah. this is the place of surrender do to me what you want ah this is the place where my life is changed do to me what you want Na, 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 na. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now please hear me. I want to begin to pray for you. The first thing we are starting with tonight is a real impartation. Listen, believe me when I tell you you need the power of the Holy Spirit. Don't assume you have it. If it is not there, it is not there. There are ministries, there are individuals that are in desperate need for the power of the Holy Spirit. There is no need to sit down wishing for something that can be yours. For this promise is for you and for your children, as many as are afar off, even as many as the Lord will call. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. I want to pray right now. I want you to hold those all those who begin to run by the spirit just bring them out here gently there is a very mighty impartation that is coming on you right now i want to pray for you father in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god here in this treasured land of abel Kuta, standing from here and speaking to the nations 
there are men and women you are calling even at this time to give them strange experiences of impartation right now even as you have revealed to me i stretch my hands from the front to the back the left to the right as many of these people right now please whether you are an usher or not just bring them out those under the anointing at the count of three that fire is coming upon someone is an ignition of the spirit are you ready one two three take that fire take that fire take that fire take that fire there is a specific kind of impartation that God is doing with this fire we are here We need a move. Now hear me. Please hear me. Over the last three months, the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me about a restoration of the healing ministry. The Lord began to speak to me that we have really lost the healing ministry there are people who heal but there are few people who have really gotten this healing mantle i believe that there will be a distribution of such graces here wherever you are i want to pray father there are men and women who must carry help that lady please help this lady must carry this mantle of healing at the count of three i want you to shout jesus not everyone but there are people who must carry this mantle are you ready now one two three shout jesus take that fire 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 he shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover Help that woman, please. Help that woman. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight for the kings to arise for revival to return for the kings to be born for revival to return yeah. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ali, Ali, oh. Ali, oh. Ali, oh. hallelujah now we're still praying please i want you to give me give me a mic hold on please i want to do something prophetic here i'm going to invite minister dunsin to come up and just any song in his spirit i believe there will be a transference of mantles hear me there are prophetic psalmists that will need to arise not not just composing what does not edify please listen to me some of you have been called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but for a long time you are in hiding like Gideon a shofar is about to come from the realm of the spirit and hear me please as the man of God raises this song some of you songs young and old will begin to rise from within your spirit man yes sir please 
spirit of the sovereign Lord. Shaka taka 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 taka. Come and make your presence known. The glory of the living God. Oh, the mantle of Samistry. Shaka taka 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 taka. Spirit of the sovereign Lord. Come and make your presence known. The glory of the living God. The glory of the living God. your family I want to pray the man of God is still going to worship listen to me I want to pray right now here it's already filled up so you may not need to bring them out just help them there but I want to declare fire is falling from heaven there are men and women here who have been under all kinds of oppression the Bible says for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy the works of the evil ones now hear me at the count of three i'm going to ask you to shout the name jesus and if god be god everything that has refused to give way for the king of glory to come in he must give way right now and the power of god will come upon you that fire will frustrate the council of darkness I want you to shout from the depth of your heart that name that is above all names are you ready now father I decree and declare that everyone here who is oppressed everyone and every family every business and every ministry we come in the name of the Lord God of heaven and we decree and declare as we shout that name let every mountain let every other name let every enchantment let every activity of wizardry let every activity of star gazers let it come to an end are you ready now one two 
Free, shout Jesus. I command every foul spirit. Go now. Go now. Go now. Release the Darkness, go. Go now. Out of their lives. Out of their ministries. Out of their businesses. Hallelujah. Hold on, please. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? Oh dear, we don't have time. Who is Israel? You are wearing a black t-shirt. Israel. Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. This is what I'm seeing. Is there someone like that? Israel, you are wearing a black t-shirt. What I'm seeing is a gentleman with a black t-shirt. Us. Israel. What's your name? Huh? Please help us with another mic. Sound people. Israel, Israel. Israel, from where? Abiyakuta. God wants to change the life of your family, my friend. I don't know you, but do you believe in the power of the prophetic? Yes, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Deborah. Who is Deborah? My God. My spirit is fired up this night. Talaska Deberegodos Kadina Kapariata. Shandi Lada. Vivian. I'm hearing the name Vivian. Who is Vivian? Deborah. I'm hearing a name Vivian. Vivian, you are wearing a t-shirt, black and white. Vivian, black and white t-shirt. A lady. Vivian. Realigning everything. Please don't come out at random. I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. As soon as that comes, I'll pray for you. This is what I just saw. In the name of Jesus, everything that represents the workings of darkness. There is a woman here. You have, you have trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I'm seeing four years. Where are you? Four years, no child. Come and receive your miracle now. Four years, no child. Make sure you are married. Four years, no child. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare the power of God is coming on one of you here. Right now in the name that is above all names. May that fire fall right now. In the name of Jesus. Please don't come out at random. Let's, let's maintain some level of order. We have a few minutes and I'm done. Come. What's your name? hold on please i want to pray for you four years no child i know many of you it's not four years obedience is better than sacrifice i will still pray for you four years you four years too four years four years what's your name is the mic working victoria what's your name huh Is it Oye Tunde? Who is that? What's your name? Do you know her? Is your husband here? Where is he? I'm seeing two of you standing and the Lord is saying I should pray even for his finances. Where is he? Oga, can you run and come? God wants to visit you. Don't be embarrassed. This is a family of faith. Please come and stand here, sir. You see why it's good to invite people to the house of God it's not for showmanship please hold your wife I want to pray for you four years you believe in the power of Jesus you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life I'm going to pray for you but in the name of Jesus Oyetunde also that's your name my dear what's the name okay right now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare standing in faith with every vessel here Shanice Kali Brandagata. Madam, I'm seeing something come out of your stomach, eh? Out now! The name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God, 
according to the time of life help her i decree and declare return with your child god is giving you a baby girl this is what i'm seeing in my vision and sir the lord instructed me to pray over your finances i decree and declare let things shift for you right now for all of you who are out here trusting god for the fruit of the womb in the name of jesus the power of god is coming on one of you afterwards i'll just speak over you this is what god is revealing to me all those who are standing right now there's such an anointing coming on one of you we have to hurry up and walk with time in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit that is back of this it must go now i'm telling you i'm, I'm seeing fire just coming on you the lord is burning everything that is responsible for this helper please this season of barrenness i decree and declare to you according to the time of life weep not for the book is opened in the name of jesus christ boyega who is boyega i'm hearing a name boyega is there someone like that boyega what's your name sir you're a preacher can i pray for you sir i hope you're not embarrassed please come things are about to shift in your ministry you see we are product of god's mercy and grace there is absolutely no reason to pride and glory except in the name of the lord when you see these kinds of things happen it is more than a man being anointed is jesus revealed he's been revealed in the midst of his people i interject to say this because usually in the presence of mighty manifestations like this it is easy to exalt the man more than jesus thank god for the honor that comes with priesthood but can i tell you there is only one who deserves every glory and every lifting here and we must not be ashamed to let the nations know that we were taught well let the nations know that he's built us well our assignment is to see him lifted and he said that if i be lifted up from the earth you see if i be lifted up from the earth jane i'm hearing a name jane jane oh that's that's really the song shining in the light of your glory pour out your power and love as we sing so i want to pray for you because you have come out in honor to the word of the lord transference is a privilege it's an election of grace i assure you there is a man of god right now i don't know where you are but there is such a mighty anointing coming on you you are a man of god in ministry already a man of god right now there is such an anointing and the lord is telling me that is a twin combination of the teaching ministry and the prophetic that mantle help him please father please hold my hand sir in the name of jesus christ sir by the privilege of this election of grace i decree and declare according to the word of the lord step into a new season of power with god in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my friend come your life is about to change i don't know you but let me tell you this the lord himself is about to take you to a dimension in the prophetic and the apostolic is starting as a, like a prayer ministry but is a real apostolic and prophetic ministry god is training you and god is building you and listen to me there is one secret that has kept you humility maintain it maintain it no matter how god lifts you let me use this as an encouragement to many people no matter how far god lifts you the moment pride begins to come fight it like you fight satan don't ever allow any result make you fight those who god used to help you whether you like them or not whether you believe in them or not 
whether you think you are more anointed than them or not in your humility is your immunity I don't know this man I don't pray for people carelessly I fear God but I want to pray for you he's a ministry sir here in huh? oh I see really my brother you are going to carry very ancient mantles fathers that have died you write what I'm telling you have you read about parking Diomi have you read about that man huh? I like you if you can go and read his material read it and pray there is something from that lineage that is needed in your destiny go and write what I'm saying just believe what I'm telling you in the name of Jesus Christ by the election of grace I release you step into a new season power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ a new season may your eyes be open may your hands be taught to war in the name of Jesus Christ why are you here we have to pray for the sick Deborah hold hold them one of you will start running now the power of God will come on you these things are supernatural just please be sensitive don't mind me let me just do my crazy thing here we'll soon we'll soon be done I don't know why God does this thing one of you literally the power of God is a is is, is victory over delay that's what is happening it's not like you are running intentionally the power is an anointing that will come upon you and it will just be like you are running like Elijah just run Mr. Man, you are not Jane now. Jane is a female name. What is he doing here? Huh? Okay. Don't, well, I can't. I'm just going to pray for you. One of you will start running now by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, Father, that mantle and that grace that makes even for restoration, victory over delay, may that grace be administered right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. And let this be a new season even by the Spirit of God that everything that represents the operation of delay we crush it now by the Spirit of the Living God my friend lift your hands this man with monkey jacket in the name of Jesus I just saw oil coming on your head right now take that grace right now in the name of Jesus Christ that anointing will come on you you will never be the same again I don't know who this man is but God is going to use you mightily you are drinking of a very very ancient wine in the name of Jesus may God shift you to new levels in the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit this lady look at me my dear I command that spirit to leave now it must let you go and release your family by the power that raised Christ from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ let me just pray for the sick we may not have time for testimonies tonight unfortunately because we have to respect our time i'm going to pray for the sick and i'll do the final impartation one day god is going to grant us grace somewhere where god will grant us grace to do a vigil one day and we'll have the time to really take the time to minister minister greatly to people mr Dusin. The Lord is speaking to me about I don't I, I of course I know your team but this lady the Lord is saying I should tell you you are entering your season of reward this this lady that you are entering your season of reward I believe that what he says to one he says to all but in the name of Jesus that's why I I, I, I just informed him before praying I'm praying for you I don't know what is that reward that you must step into in this season honestly i release you by the prophetic and i declare step into it and by extension i pray for your colleagues that you will step into the same grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ there is a lady from this city who is going to rise as a worshiper listen to what i'm saying write it down there is a lady that god is working on you see what God is doing with you know some of the ladies the women that God is using in this nation and across people don't just rise like that 
there is a way God lifts people hear what I'm saying from this city it will be as if she just came out from nowhere all of a sudden every church will be interested in inviting her people will want to hear her songs it is just one song one that God is going to bring and that is what is going to announce that lady Lord as you have revealed to me whether she's here or not oh God of heaven I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit visit that lady and I pray like you did Mary launch her into this new season where she will sing your praises to the nations and like minister do sing minister hear me everyone here who has desired to walk in prophetic psalmistry there is a difference between just ministering and singing and prophetic psalmistry that was the reason why i requested him to come and stand here i have seen what god has done in his life in prophetic psalmistry and in the name of jesus i pray for you you don't have to bring them out when they are under the anointing lord wherever you are at least seven people who must carry this grace for worship in a definite way wherever you are i stretch my hand as he's stretching his hand may that grace right now Pari shani nakas kobadi data lakrete ke paruga diata receive that grace right now take that grace right now take that grace right now some of you the angel of the lord will wake you in the night oh i tell you this and give you songs from heaven songs that you will write they will become ladders that will lead the nations to worship in the name of jesus christ now please hear me if you are trusting god for a miracle in your body have a few minutes to be here just lay your hands right now as we worship in your presence there is healing Lay your hands there. His flowing I want you to agree with me as I pray for you. Listen to me. Help them, please. The healing power of Jesus is touching people. I truly believe in the healing ministry. I believe that Jesus heals. I believe that miracles are not a manipulation. There are genuine miracles. And right now, just breathe your name upon me. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Ah, Shalena Sabaruziata. Your hair will hate your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. One more time, and I'll pray for you right now. Just breathe your name upon me. His name is powerful. Just breathe your name upon me. His name is mighty, able to save, your able to heal. Is your name. Breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me. Now agree with me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit that is back of any infirmity plaguing your life and plaguing your body according to the integrity of scripture the Bible declares that by his stripes we were healed. Please help them. Help those under the anointing my God. 
such a move of the healing power help that gentleman be healed now be healed now every eye condition be healed in the name of Jesus every bone condition hear the word of the Lord be healed in the name of Jesus heart palpitations be healed right now in the name of Jesus I'm hearing the name gastritis in the name of Jesus be healed right now any terminal disease HIV, cancer, we curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have a swelling around the side of your, your cheek. It, it, it looks like mums, but it stayed there for unnecessarily long. The power of God is touching you right now. Be healed in the name of Jesus. It looks like muzzle pool, but it has remained there almost as if you cannot stand for long. Your kneecap shakes. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let there be healing for you right now. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I declare life and healing now. Perfection and wholeness now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray finally, let me make an altar call. I have to make an altar call. Can, can you give me a minute for an altar call? Now, when I make the altar call, and then we'll pray finally, and we're done. There's no need cajoling. Listen to me. Jesus is truly the way, the truth, and life. This is not just a Christian talk. It is true. You are here, and you are saying, Apostle, I truly need Jesus. I came for this believers conference do not end tonight's meeting without giving me an opportunity please we are still standing or those who are saying apostle I remember giving my life to Jesus but as it is my life has gone haywire if you belong to any of that group wherever you are please I like you to run like there's fire in the mountain to the front here I'm going to count five after five that will be all do not wait for anyone be the first to come one Celebrate them as they come, young and old together. Two, don't allow anybody sit down or stop you from coming when you know you should come to Jesus. Come, 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 come. Run to Jesus. Two. Abel Kuta, is this how you celebrate salvation? Jesus is bringing many to him. Come. Please allow those who need to come to come. If they are coming for salvation, please let them come. Four. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. There's no need to be ashamed. Run to Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, listen. All of you who are in front, on behalf of Jesus, who is the head of the church, I salute and I celebrate you for making this conscious decision coming to Jesus can I tell you this someday very soon this life will fold like a curtain and it will be the beginning of another season I know this is a message that is not very popular again but let me say it one more time Jesus is coming soon 
believe me when I tell you this sooner than the first time you heard this sentence Jesus is coming one glorious morning you will get up trying to go to your place of work I would get up trying to run and take a flight and go for administration only that will find out there may not be need for it again his majesty coming in the brightness of the cloud we will see him as he is whether we believe him or not that day we will see him and the bible says the dead in christ will arise first and we who are alive and remain we will be caught up in the air and there will be that glorious exit we will sing your songs minister dunsin while we ascend we will sing those songs of victory the triumphant ones and wave the earth and his pride one more time and can i tell you this it is a risk to not know jesus this is not planting fear it is the truth we will join the cloud of witnesses what a day of rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus I'll sing and shout a victory lift your right hand high to heaven I want you to say this loud and clear let it be from the depth of your heart shout it say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I believe that you died for me I believe that you rose again for my justification according to the authority of scripture I declare that I am a child of God a recipient of the life of God I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness and I reign in life the power of sin Satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight until forever I am a child of God amen father in the name of Jesus I stretch my hand toward these ones and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit your sins are forgiven based on the authority of Scripture and I declare that you are recipients of eternal life, even the life of God. From today, the power to live a victorious Christian life, let it be released upon you. You go forward ever and backward never in Jesus' name. Now, please, all of you, there is a, the counselors are waving the placard. Please, can we celebrate them, all of you, as you move to my right? Everyone, please. Let's celebrate them. We're almost on. We are going to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to see the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you finally. Please listen, Abel Kuta. Do not allow anything stop your pursuit of Jesus Christ let it not be that after a conference like this you will enjoy the moment for a few days only to return back to the way things were it is my encouragement and i led my voice with pastor shola all the organizers and every servant of god the fathers of the faith that are in this land to encourage you let it be from the depth of your heart that anytime we meet again we will find you on fire loving jesus serving Jesus committed to the house of God committed to soul winning committed to your spiritual growth committed to your relationship with Jesus and committed to your purpose and your destiny and for this may the Lord grant you grace in the name of Jesus Christ it was my honor ministering the word of the Lord to you I pray that the Lord will bless you Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. 
and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of jesus christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of christianity and then don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye